So guys, this week on Vivid Takes On, we got to experience so many things. And we also learned way more than we thought we would. Like, who is the Pope? And who are the Buffalo Soldiers? Where is Twinkenham? And child, there are slaves buried on Buffalo University's campus. Hmm. In December of 1808, Governor Robert Williams of the Mississippi Territory decided that the land should be sold at a public auction during August and September of 1809. The 60 acres of land surrounding the Big Spring were purchased by Leroy Pope, a planter of the Broad River area in Georgia, for $23 an acre. The area was chosen as the county seat by a special commission. The town was first named Twickenham as requested by Leroy Pope after Alexander Pope's English home. A special act of a territory legislator on November 25, 1811, changed his name from Twickenham to Huntsville in honor of the town's first settler. In 1866, Congress passed legislation establishing two cavalry and two infantry regiments whose enlisted composition was made up of African Americans to serve in the United States Army. The Buffalo Soldiers participated in the Battles of San Juan Hill. They received a total of six medals of honor for gallantry in action. After the war, three regiments remained on occupational duty, while the 10th United States Cavalry was ordered to New York, then to Camp Albert G. Force in Huntsville, Alabama. From October 18, 1898 until January 28, 1899, the U.S. 10th Cavalry was encamped at this location, hence the name Cavalry Hills. This inexhaustible source of pure water was a marvel to Indian and frontiersmen alike prior to the 19th century. John Hunt, an early settler, built a cabin near the site by 1805. The spring became a major attraction at the land sales of 1809. The spring water was being pumped 96 feet through ho hollowed cedar logs to a reservoir on the town square. This was one of the earliest waterworks in the country. and the area was named for its abundant mineral springs and clear air. People have visited Montesano's Mineral Springs since the early 19th century to improve their health and escape the city. In the 1820s, a small town named Veduta, which no longer exists, was established on the mountain. The Hotel Montesano, a three-story Queen Annex style luxury health resort, opened in 1877. Guests were transported to the hotel by the Montesano Railway which deported from downtown Huntsville and climbed to the top of the mountain. They hosted many famous guests such as William H. Vanderbilt, Helen Keller, and many more. Warner Von Braun and his team of rocket scientists transformed Huntsville, Alabama, known in the 1950s as Watercrest Capital of the World, into a technology center that today is home to the second largest research park in the United States and to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center with its world-class educational program and space camp. It's here in Huntsville that rockets were developed that put the first U.S. satellites into orbit. On September 3, 1818, the Huntsville City Commissioners purchased two acres of land from Leroy Pope for a burying ground for slaves. This cemetery continued to be used from 1818 until 1870 when Glenwood Cemetery was designated as the city's burial ground for African Americans on the campus of Oakwood University, which was once a plantation but is now a university that develops some prominent African Americans. Hey guys, um, we can definitely say that we took on all the points of Huntsville and all the history of it. All of it. <laughs> Make sure you hit us up next week for the concerts in the park. And we will definitely be getting an interview from DMR. He just don't know it yet. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and comment, of course. Check out the website at www.vivitakeson.com. Thank you. Bye. Downtown, fucking downtown.